I'll be giving you guys 10 tips in boxing, right? The number one thing you want to do is when you get into your stance, right? First thing you do is you want to always make sure that your eyes are always on your opponent. So you don't want to be looking down, you don't want to be looking the other way. Your eyes are always fixed on the opponent, so that way you know what your opponent's going to do. That way you have your eye on them, right? Number two, you don't want to keep your chin up because if you keep your chin up for far too long, you'll end up getting hit. Right? Well, not even far too long. If you just keep your chin up in general, it's an easier target for your opponent to hit you. So what you want to do is you want to tuck your chin into your chest and keep your hands up, of course. Right? Number three, of course, you want to keep your hands up as well. So your eyes are on your opponent, your chin's tucked and your hands are up. Right? So of course, people have different styles, of course, in boxing. Some people will prefer to have the guard to the chin, up to the temple. Some people will like to have a relaxed guard. So what I'm always saying as a beginner is, of course, just have your hands up. And keep the elbows tucked in tight so that way nobody can get body shots in, right? Now the fourth one, what you want to simply do here is basically, of course, called a slip, right? So you don't want to slip too far or you don't want to slip too little, right? So you just want to slip just enough to get out of the way, right? So what you want to simply do is if your opponent's going to be punching or whatever, of course you want to have a line of defense. So of course, if your hands are up, of course your gloves can touch. But of course, there's always so much that your gloves can take until a punch goes through your guard. So what you want to simply want to do is you want to work in the slip. So you just slip enough for your opponent to miss their punch and from there you can start counting the punch right the fifth one is you want to basically roll right what you simply want to do with rolling is basically your eyes are still on your opponent because what you tend to see with some opponents is they might put their head down and if you're rolling and by the time you've rolled number one that's too slow and number two what happens is you don't know what your what your opponent's going to throw next because your eyes are not on him or her for that matter so what you want to simply do is when you're rolling you want to roll see what they're doing in this position, I will always say you can step with a roll. Step, step. Now the sixth one is when you're going to throw a jab or a backhand. What you want to do from there is when you're jabbing, you want to keep your basically chin up in, up in your uh, shoulder, right? So when you're throwing it like this, you want to make sure that you have this position here, right? So that way you're not doing this. So it's easier for your opponent to hit you. Just keeping up to your chin. And that's how simple it is. Number seven, what you simply want to be doing is if you want to land a shot on your opponent and you're struggling. So for example, right, if you're saying, hey, I want to land a body shot, right? So what you want to do up close is when you're close to your opponent, what you want to do is you want to tap or maybe even double tap their glove, right? The reason why I say when I double tap their glove, if they've got their hands up, right? You want to make them think that you're going to go for the headshot. So you just go tap, tap, body, right? Tap, tap, body. Right, because that way what tends to happen is when you're going to tap them to the head, they're more prone to lift up their arm, right, to protect themselves. So whilst they're protecting themselves, you can see this part's open here. So tap, tap, bang. Number eight, what you want to simply do from here is whenever you're punching that you're always exhaling. What I simply mean from that is if you're going to be throwing punches and you're holding your breath in, number one, you're going to tire yourself out quicker. And number two, of course, you can't breathe, right? So you want to make sure that you can breathe and you can exhale so that way you're loose as possible so whenever you're throwing a punch breathe out exhale <laughs> number nine if you want to basically hook your opponent going back i'll show you a simple trick what you can simply do here so what you want to do is if your opponent's coming at you and you want to throw a hook right so what you do is if you just take a step with your back foot just keep the front foot where it is take a step with your back foot and all you simply do is like a lean Right? But this time when you lean, hook. And that's what you do. And number 10, of course, what you want to simply do is you want to transfer your weight when you're punching. So for example, if I'm going to throw a backhand, if I'm going to throw my backhand, my, my weight has to be on my lead foot and my back foot has to be pivoting. So for example, if I'm throwing a straight right, as you can see right now, my lead foot, I've got all my weight on it and my back foot's pivoting. If I'm throwing a left hook for that matter, boom. Now I've transferred the weight from the front to the back. Now all my weight is on my back foot. That's the 10 tips that I give in boxing. Comment below what videos you want to see next and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that way you never miss any of my videos.